Do you feel like that you want some more friends in your life, but you're a little bit nervous about making new connections or speaking to people? You're working on your confident self-esteem or you're nervous about going places by yourself? Well, I'm going to talk about an Akashic Alignment session that I just had with a client where we were talking about these things. So my client had a lot of people let her down in her life, whether it is family or friends or narcissistic abusive relationships. And so there was a lot of evidence as to why people are scary. And so that what happens is even if you have tools and resources and the awareness, the the knowing that not all people are like that. Sometimes your past PTSD and trauma is trying to tell you otherwise and you're taking past narratives and future predicting and then getting caught in these reality loops even though you know better. <laughs> and so she was telling me about this event that she wanted to go to. And she even said, Sage would be so happy if I went to this, which is funny. But she said that she wanted to go, uh, but she was so nervous because she didn't know how to protect herself. And so I gave her a deeper understanding of why we get overstimulated and scared. We're in public social spaces as an empath or light worker. So if you have wounded inner children who were hurt either emotionally or physically or in other types of ways, what ends up happening is because you are a highly sensitive person and because you have the ability to read other people, whether it's behavioral pattern recognition or frequency reading, like you can uh, have an understanding of what their moods and their thoughts are without actually knowing, <laughs> what ends up happening is we'll go to uh, different stores, different public places, and your inner children are looking for scary people. They are looking for people who are sad and angry and have a lot of chaos around them, either internally or in their auric fields, because there is safety in knowing, <laughs> okay? But when the, what ends up happening is you attract those people to you. If you are having a lot of fear and anxiety, it's very easy for narcissistic people to find you because that is what they thrive on. That's what they feed on. And so I was telling her what you have to do is heal your inner children through having a preparatory talks with them before you go to these places. And so you, it, that looks like you sitting in your car maybe and taking some real deep breaths in to regulate your central nervous system and then telling them, hey, we are safe. We don't have those type of relationships anymore. I know that they happened in the past and I'm validating you for those and I love you for trying to keep me safe, but we need to head in a different direction. And what I want to do is look for the magical things at this event or this place. What are the most fun things that we can spot while we're out like a scavenger hunt? <laughs> okay. How can we find more people who are smiling and having a great time or people who want to compliment us or maybe give us like a fun surprise <laughs> or we're going to find uh, colorful things in this store? We want to expect the best thing to happen. I want to say all over all of us, me and the inner children, I am confident. I am secure. I am safe. I am a beautiful, empathic person that has so much to offer out into the world. I am a joy. I am a delight. I am a great speaker. I communicate really well. Like you are really building this new identity before you go into these events. And that's the energy that you carry and take with you. And that's the energy that you project. And then that's how people perceive you. And then people who are also like that come up to you because that is the energy that you are radiating. And then you start to build this really deep internal trust with your inner children because they start to see reality and people as not scary. It's just because of the things that have happened to us in the past, but that doesn't have to be our future. But you, as the higher self to your inner children, have to take back the wheel of consciousness and say, hey, I know that stuff is real in the past, but that's not going to be what we're going to experience moving forward. But we have to shift our energy state before we go to have these experiences. That is how you protect yourself. It's not necessarily sh more shields, okay, <laughs> and more like protective layers. It's you shifting your own energetic state, understanding why you've been caught in those cycles and those loops and taking a breath and taking a moment to identify as someone who is sovereign and divine and that nothing can touch or harm you. 
I am only focusing on positive, magical, fun things in my life and positive reactions from people and positive perceptions. Even if people have judgments or, or not so great looks, those are not even going to be in my peripheral. I'm a living, breathing a testament to this, okay? <laughs> Years ago when I had really bad social anxiety and anxiety and depression, all this stuff, every time I would go out in public, people would look at me weird. People would like like snicker and say things um, behind my back and like treat me in different types of ways. And something like weird would always happen while I was out and I was just attracting all of these people that were not good energy. But I was creating a lot of that because of the things that have happened to me in childhood. Your inner children will attract what was done to them or will attract things that you did not have tools and resources to know better, <laughs> okay? You will attract narcissists if all you have ever known is narcissistic relationships. And so you have to change internal state and what you are seeking, <laughs> okay, consciously. And when I started doing that, I have completely different experiences out in public now. It's chill. There are people smiling, giving me compliments, giving me random things, people holding, holding open the door for me, uh, laughing, kikiing at the store. Like It's fun because I'm looking for that. And I'm also redirecting my inner children when we do feel nervous of like, hey, we don't need to do that. It's okay. I got you. <laughs> okay. So I wanted to come on and share this because I know how tough it is. I know it's really scary. It does, it's really scary when you don't feel safe. But is it you that doesn't feel safe or is it your inner children that don't feel safe? Well, that's a perfect opportunity for you to step in as the higher self and create this new narrative for everybody moving forward about the identity that you want to be. Somebody that's in fun and magic and whimsy and like awesome things happen to you and just, you know, synchronicities and signs everywhere. Like you get to decide that is your choice. Time and practice. Okay. <laughs> it takes time to heal and it takes practice. Okay. This is not something that always just happens overnight. The more you keep at it, it's a muscle that you build and the stronger and stronger it gets. And then all of a sudden you're a completely different person and a completely different reality. And I am here to say that that works. Okay? It worked for me and it will work for you too. Okay. I would love to hear the comments if this resonated with you, if it helped you have a different perspective and remember to give a follow for more.